Hello everybody, welcome back to Wild Gecko, and today we'll be doing a Fall Watch Part 2. These are just my observations and new updates I've been doing to my gecko's vivarium. Um, let's start off with the hotter side, warm side. Uh, I have changed the, the heat lamp out from a 75 watt to a 50 watt for cooler temperatures. Um, for brumation. Uh, I've been keeping my open, I mean my window open at night to let some cool air in, make my room a little cooler too for the get-go. Um, I also, I got this dimmer, this like, I can link it in the description, it's 18 bucks, but up, for, off, and, I don't know, it works pretty well with school, it's a good investment. I like it. Um, I also have noticed that these uh, little Mario beetles have been laying their eggs and a lot of them are dying. One dead one, one dead one. There's one up here. Oh, I don't know if y'all wanna see that, but uh, It looks like that one's eating the dead one back there. The, or, I think y'all can figure it out. Uh, let's just leave those two alone. I'll let them have some fun. But all the beetles are dying. There's still some alive. There's one climbing this tree earlier. It's one right there. It's that one right there. Um, hmm, what else? There is also, uh, I've been seeing a bunch of mealworms and stuff in the ground. It's, there a lot of fungi have been pocket, popping up, but the cleanup crew has had like a big boost in their size. There's a lot of them. So that fungi lasts like a day, then it's gone. Uh, but on this hot side, lately, it's probably been around 80 degrees, 85 degrees. I don't really know. I still need to get a temperature gauge for this size. Oh, there's the beetle. There's the alive one, and there's a dead one back there. I don't know if y'all can see, but... Excuse me. There's that. Um, I did trim this bromeliad a little bit, because... The flower was dead. I don't know why I said that, but there's a little bit of it right there. Um, for plants wise, nothing has changed. Snake plant, aloe, money tree plant, the tree looking plants, aloe again. Um, zebra plant, vermilion, more money tree plants. And there is this little succulent back here. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. There. Uh, that's another type of aloe. I don't know what type. That's doing pretty well, I guess. Um, they're all they're all doing good. No death. I still got moss growing on this rock, which is a surprise. So that's good. But it's getting a lot quieter in here, and I think my gecko found where she's gonna stay for a brumation. She's been deciding through this log. She's in there for a little, mo in this tunnel mostly. She has been in, but she's been in this humid hide for the past couple days. She's still alive, she, I, I do checkups on her. She's still doing good. I don't know if you can see her tail, but I haven't seen her out much. She's still moving around. She's she's fine. She's fine. But I think that might be where she stays or she's just experimenting to see what she likes. And yeah. So there's also last night the cool side got to like 64 degrees, which she hasn't seen in a while. So temperatures are dropping. The warm side got to like 70 last night, 71, 72. Uh, I 
No, because I have this little temperature gauge thing. When I woke up, this was at 69 degrees. Or no, the middle was actually at 65 degrees. So I'd say this is like 72 degrees, the warm side. I don't know for sure, but it's a good guess for me. Um, the humidity has been like dropping and going up too. So that's kind of, I don't know. I might get a dehumidifier. Depends though how much they are. And if I actually do want to spend money on one. Cause I spent too much on this thing already. It's worth it though, it's cool, it's cool. But, mm, what else? There's not much else going on. I stopped feeding like four weeks ago. I know that sounds cruel, but part of brumation. If she is hungry, she has the fat stored in her tail, which she can eat, so it's not like I'm starving her. Uh, but yeah. I also, I made a salt rock wall. I'll put that in later today, probably. I got some pure pink Himalayan salt rocks. I got them off Amazon for like 10 bucks, but those are in Pakistan, the Salt Valley, I think. Something like that. Um, but I'm gonna put a little salt rock wall right in there. It's behind the snake plant. And hopefully she licks it. I don't know if she will, cause she's starting to slow down a lot, but yeah. Uh, the jumping spider, he's still in here. I have named him Frank. Uh, I don't know if I can find him. His abdomen was looking a little skinny. So that's not good, but I'm hoping he found a little snack or something. Keep him going. Maybe the gnats or something. But another like amazing thing about this, uh, there 